Welcome to the Feel Better, Be Better show. Today, Kate and Nevada will answer your questions and introduce new topics designed to help feel better and be better. These are raw conversations, but they will make a difference. Oh, okay. Yep. Just told a good joke. Whatever. We're going to do the intro here. So we got, what did we talk about today? We did practice stuff. We kept it light. Light. Super light show? No. Super duper light. No. Not at all. We went heavy. We went heavy into coaching. Yep. We talked, like you said, player practice plans. Um, Mm -hmm. So developing a player progress plan with your players and stuff that can help them and some things that we're trying out. Yeah. We're going to see how it goes. Let's see here. We it's a sprint. We got no experience in this section, really, as far as, like, actually putting this into play. So we're going to we're gonna roll with it. Yeah. Everybody should totally do the stuff we have no experience at. Oh, yeah. Go for it. We're going to try it. We'll let you know. Pilot. Yeah. Pilot it this season. <laughs> <laughs> and then we get into some practice drills that we found this week that we liked. Yeah, that was good. Um, practice this week was fun. Mm-hmm. I liked it. It was a good time. It was good. I actually mm-hmm. got to hop out with the girls some, so that was fun. You had to kind of play, really. I did. Uh, they yeah. couldn't believe that I was sliding around diving for balls and stuff. They were like, oh my god, I didn't think she could do that. Yeah, I'm really surprised you didn't ask me to do it. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was okay, because I was like, yeah, I'll let them think they're good. The, <laughs> <laughs> Get you in there, you catch every single one. I don't the know. The they like go, then I'm like, ooh, that was catchable. What are you doing? Mm, the get up, get down is not quite as fast as it used to be. <laughs> I bet you're still faster than some of them. Oh, we also, we had um, <clears throat> we had a little bit of our website snafu. Yeah. Yeah. Lots uh, of stress. A little bit of, little. A little bit of stress. A lot of bit of stress yeah. this week. Yeah, we went over some. That's uh, all right. We're better now. Yeah, went over some interpretations. Yes. So. And some ways to get out of your funk. Yeah, super, su- super light show. Super light show, but really good. Hope you guys enjoy it and <laughs> everything. So, yeah, take a listen. All right, let's see here. We're coming off of what? We just got done talking to Adam not too long ago. done talking to Adam. Yeah, that was a good time. Long conversation. Yeah. Yeah, it went on for quite a while. Like, wow, we actually hit about an hour with our podcast for once. Oh, Lord. People had to listen (laughs) to us for an hour? Yeah, it's 57 minutes. Wow. I guarantee you, if I hadn't wrapped that up, you probably guys could have gotten longer. (laughs) Yes, you, being around me and Adam, it will kind of, oh, well, what about this? Oh, well, let me go into this. And Trust me, I, I was in the middle. Yeah, you I, were. I know. <laughs> yeah, you look kind of like you were doing a tennis match. You were kind of like, uh, uh, yeah. It pretty much felt like that because it was very much like, oh, that's a good point. Oh, that's a good point. I should probably talk at some point, but I have nowhere to talk. <laughs> 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 but it's all great points. It's all good. Yeah, we can get you the, uh, the, the, the best listener trophy. I probably yeah, years of experience. Yeah, you can do that one. I can do you that can one. Do that one real well. All you right. know, let me have a tro- trophy too, not just you. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, it'll be a smaller one though. Okay. Yeah. I mean, to be the most humble, you have to have the biggest trophy. Exactly. Yes. The most humble trophy is huge. Yeah. Can you give like an acceptance speech? It can be short since you're so humble. Should someone give it for you on your behalf? That would be better. Yes. That would be. Can I you know give what? it? Can I give your speech for you? You know, here's the here's the deal. <laughs> when you accept the most humblest award, can I do it for you? Well, no, you have to, you you still give your acceptance speech, but you do it as though you're somebody else, so that that way it's not, you know, breaking all the centered. humble code. Okay. Yes, that's how you do that. It's not all centered on you. Correct. All the time. Correct. Yes. I'm glad you've mastered that art. Yes. Very much. That's it's it's a whole code you, you get when you're in the group. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> All right, let's move on here. So, I saw that you got player card like evaluation stuff that we're working on. You saw right. I mm-hmm. do have player card evaluation cards that we're working on. Nice. I know. I got them all drawn up. I don't know that they're how I like them. But I'm pretty excited so far. I think I actually might, once we get the rough draft figured out, I will put them on the course that so we made. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. What? So what, which ones, what all do we have on that? Mm-hmm. I haven't had a chance to look at them. Okay, so you've got the player's name, and then I've what? got, I know, so you know who the heck it goes to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. And after that, um, there's a section for, like, positions that they're interested in trying to pursue to want to play, like, so you have an idea where they want to work to end up being. Sure. Um, and then I have a spot at the very beginning for their goals. I had them do two to three goals 
that they want to obtain at some point during the season. Um, so I know what's important to them. Mm -hmm. So if I give them homework assignments, because if someone's like, I want to hit a home run, and I'm like, hey, that kid's really fast, I'm going to teach her how to butt a bunch. I mean, while both a valued skill, I kind of need to know what's important to her, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see how her button, it's not really helping out her home run swing. Yeah, and she's going to be like, man, they don't even want to work with what I want to get better at. Sure. So I've got their goals, and then from there, I've got a spot for coaches' notes for us for things that we want to talk about amongst ourselves and work on developing in that player. Or the kid. I haven't got to that part. Oh, okay. Calm down. Just the coaches section because there's things we talk about or things that we want to tweak and need to be on the same page at. Okay. And then there's a spot for with the player. So like the things we want to give them to help them develop with the stuff they want to do and with us. That's more of a conversation. And then there's a mid-season and a, uh, end of season check-in. All right. See where you're at. So rough draft. I haven't really looked too much into it. I just kind of threw it out there and I'm sure there'll be things I will tweak and want to add or take away or do different. Mm -hmm. What do you think about maybe getting like a parental thing on there, like including them in like, here's what, you know, your kid is telling us. Ooh. I mean, you kind of got a coach player bond there. So, I mean, mm -hmm. you could be out overstepping that, but I mean, at the same side, it might be something that could be beneficial to the parent. I think it'd be beneficial to the parent, but maybe not sitting in on the maybe meeting the whole with detail. the coaches. And oh, yeah. Yeah, just like an overview of, like, here's some things that discussing with your kid and what they want to do and what we see will help them. Here's a few highlights of the things we're going to really focus on this season for them. Yeah, it could be as simple as more of, like, did you check in with the parent? You know I mean? Just, just to let them know. True. Because, I mean, you may have a parent that's going, like, how come my kid isn't pitching? I'm like, well, they told me that they didn't want to. Yeah. True. I mean, I mean, especially in kids, I mean, they change their mind quite often. Yeah. We had two of those that were mm -hmm. like, oh, we want to be pitchers. And then this year it's like, no, nope. I'm not working on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good to know that because yeah. don't need a plan for that at all. <laughs> yeah, no, nothing like going to the season going like, hey, we got four pitchers to starting the season. Like, hey, we got two pitchers. Yeah. yeah. Ah. So yeah. That one's a little rough. No, that's good. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, that looks really good. I mean, I, I think it helps create the connection between the player and the coach and the and the parent. Mm -hmm. I mean, because you can kind of, you know, maybe work in some stuff where you can work, say, I need you to work on these or that to get to the goal that you want to do. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully you can get stuff that you can be able to kind of, yeah, it looks like you're doing them. Ah, it looks like you're not doing them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. Yeah. I also thought about, too, I mean, we talked about at the end of games, having the players identify something that they failed at and can learn from, you know. Sure. Remember way back when, when we talked about that and doing like, feel you're more in a positive light. Mm -hmm. And um, I kind of, when we were in our podcast with Adam and he was talking about the notebook and gratitude and writing down stuff like that, I thought it might be kind of cool to consider getting like small little notebook for each girl that hold on to in my coach's bag, but don't read and just let them at the end of each practice or game, you know, write down a couple things they're grateful for and something that they learned from failure that mm -hmm. day. Because then writing it will help solidify it in their head more than maybe just like saying it. Yeah, no, that's a good but idea. But I haven't decided exactly how I want that to look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting because on one side you kind of want to be like, here, I'll take them for you, but you also want to be open enough so you kind of want them to have it on their own. Yeah, but I wonder if they put it in their softball bag if they'll keep track of it. Yeah. I worry they'll lose it. Yes. But... They also need to be responsible, so do I let them do that? I don't know. That's a tough one. It is. That's a real that's a real it's a real tough one actually. Yeah. Because I want it to be theirs. I don't need to know. I want it to be for them strictly. Because they can write down whatever they want. I and mean, even you could do like a little section of like Well, could we go visualization or something? I don't know. You could do something really cool with it. Yeah, could you go more on the fact that it is it is something for them, but it's something that you review. So, I mean, could we end up with a situation where you have them write it out mm -hmm. and put their name on it and maybe, like, you email it back to them? Or they email it to you? Wait, I don't know that I'll be able to do email very well with them. 
feel like I'm going to be tracking a lot of people down. That's why I want the notebooks there because then it's like, nope, we're all doing it right now at the end of practice or game. Well, where I'm going with that more is that you can kind of, you know, rip the page out and it's done. Oh, I got you. So that way But I thought it'd be kind of cool that they could look back through the season and have the notes True. and everything too. True. I don't know. It's an interesting thing. But I would think it needs to either be something that's in my coach's bag that strictly I have access to or in their bag that they only have access to because I don't want other players or yes. parents or coaches or whatever to have access to that. I want it to be okay. No, I, I get a it. sense of trust. You could definitely try it out and just see it as a notebook, you know, just do it. Um, could you almost structure it to like a little bit of like the 5 by 5 that Adam does? That's kind of what I was thinking of mirroring okay. something kind of like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, basically, you know, give me a comp- give me three accomplishments you had during the game. I know Adam does five, but when we're talking about a game here, it could yeah. be tough. Um, and three things you need to work on um, and three accomplishments or something. Yeah. That should be pretty quick. Yeah. I mean, accomplishment can go, I mean, as much as you actually paid attention to the game when you were in the game. You said accomplishments twice. What did you mean for the second one? Did I say accomplishments twice? Uh-huh. Accomplishments, something to work on. I don't know, something you're grateful for? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe that's what I was in my mind. Or I'm just like double up on accomplishments. Lots of accomplishments. Um, is something to work on a little bit too close to like failure on there? Or, or can we do something in, you know. I um, just want to do like something you learned. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm trying to get at is, is something. I mean, you got something you can work on, but you could also have stuff that you, you know, that you did, that you that you were unsuccessful at. Well, and that's why I almost want to use the language of learn because, like, that could encompass. Or to use Adam's word of training. Yeah. Things you need to train on. Things you need to train on because it could be something like, hey, I was good at this. I want to keep getting better at it. Or it could be something like, hey, I didn't do so hot at this or I messed up in this one situation. I want to learn how to do it better. Mm-hmm. I want it to be open, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, we, I'm going to have to start doing those so, like, people that, like, work for me. Like, daily note thing. Really? Your, your employees? Yeah, my employees. Yeah. All one of them? Not looking at you. All one of them? <laughs> <laughs> I also meant in my day job, all right? <laughs> Not just you, but you. Do you have to review them? Mine's going to be like, Learn how to do build even better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Set up Shopify. Set up Shopify. Yeah. Then like, all right, what are Learn the, how to do website stuff. What are the things that you need training on? <laughs> Figure out social media. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice. Yeah, definitely instituting this policy, like immediately. <laughs> immediately, immediately. You're oh, like, you, you need to be need to be more specific. You can't pick the whole thing. And I'll be like, hey, did we get this done? No, I'm sorry. I was too busy doing your th- your five by five for the day. Oh, no. Took me a long time to figure <laughs> it out. <laughs> One, make sure I put my full heart in it. So I took two <laughs> hours on that. <laughs> okay, that program's gotta go away. <laughs> that is yeah. real fast. Yeah. All right, well player contracts sound really good. What else do we have this week? Ah, uh, it's our last week before our first tournament. Oh. Yeah. It'll be interesting. Yeah. Working on some luck. Ooh, I was so excited about, I'm going to tell it here because I'm really excited about it, just the practice drill that you came up with and then our practice idea for next week mm-hmm. of pe- keeping people moving. So, I mean, we got in a situation where we wanted to work on hitting, but we also wanted to work on fielding and do something a little live, <laughs> but not really live. And yeah, so and you came like, over to me and I just I had know, gotten there and you're I mean, like, hey, what do you think we should do on this? And I'm like... I don't know. I know. And I'm like, no, but really, you got to know. But, like, we've kept it kind of fun. We worked on, I did, before you got there, I did a relay race where there were, like, five of them down and back throwing. And mm-hmm. I was so proud of myself for this creative idea, but then none of the girls turned the wrong way, so I didn't even get to use it. So <laughs> <laughs> I had them in groups of five, and they were, like, you know, 20 feet apart. Had to make a good throw to the chest. Had to turn the right way. Throw to the next person. Make it down and back. Whoever made it down and back first won. If you, the ball hit the ground, you had to start over. If you turn the wrong way, you had to sit down and you couldn't be part of the team anymore. So that made your throw a lot longer from the first person to the next person. I was like, this is going to be great. And then everybody like really made sure they turned the right way. And I'm just like, <laughs> dang it. Nobody got caught by it. <laughs> Didn't even get to use it. And I was just like so excited all day that I thought of that. Nice. And then we worked on 
diving and the square drill where they have to run around like maniacs to try to catch the ball. And so it was kind of light, but then we're like, okay, we got to do something live. And I want to work on fielding, but I want to work on hitting, but our pitchers aren't warm and that takes forever to get strikes sometimes. So you came up with the creative idea of like, okay, I'm going to pitch, I'm going to pitch front toss Mm -hmm. to the players. The girl, it's like in a bat, so when they hit the ball, they're going to run. Mm-hmm. And the infield is going to field it and try and throw them out. And we only had enough for infielders, so if it was in the outfield, it was a single. Well, whenever the person got out or got around, they grabbed their glove, went to first, and everybody shifted. And yeah, then the first to second, second to short, short to third, third, yep. end of next batter. Came into the batting lineup, and whoever was next to hit was hitting heavy balls with you front toss, where you could tweak stuff on their swing and everything mm-hmm. before they came up to the plate. And... The first couple girls through, they were like, what? Yeah. What am I doing? Where am I going? And mm-hmm. it's like, come on, hustle. Like, you know, but then they got the hang of it and they were just moving and it was going quick. And we had some girls with a really good place. Yeah. And you ended up where you had, um, we ended up having quite a few runners on. So, I mean, yep. there was basically, and usually once we kind of got into it, we only had one or two girls that were ever waiting. Yeah. Over at the hitting because we just had the four positions, mm-hmm. no catcher. We just put a screen up and then we, you no. Know, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, we didn't yeah. do a catcher. No catcher. And so we had just had the four positions. You know, you could have three people on base, that's seven. You had a batter, that's eight. So, mm-hmm. I mean, now you're down to and like... you had a hitter. And I had a hitter, so that's one. So, I mean, and, and it was like that a lot. So that's nine, and we only had, a, we only had ten at practice and eleven usual, yeah. usually. So. so it actually was pretty effective. It kept it moving, but I'm excited for next week to try to do, um, with our 12 views, do like an intermixed scrimmage where we kind of do the same setup where, you know, I'm doing front toss. And you've got your fielders, you've got, you know, split up between half your 12U and half your 14 on two different teams. So you've got six of six. And, and we're going to split those teams up. Yeah, they'll be even. So you'll have half 12, half 14 on the team. Well, and we want to make sure we, we don't put, like, similar styles on the same yes, teams. Yes, exactly. And so I'll pitch front toss to take away the pitching advantage for younger girls. But we're going to have Dustin at third, and he'll be coaching the base runners. And you send a pull up first, and she'll make sure the girls are doing soft toss hitting correctly. Mm -hmm. And then um, when the ball doesn't get put in play, you're going to put it in play and have them do plays at the same time to keep it moving. Yeah, no matter what, there's going to be a ball that goes, there's a ball that's going to be in play. Mm -hmm. And so, luckily for me, I'm a switch hitter, so I can be able, if it's a right handed batter, I'll switch over and do left. If it's a left handed batter, I'll switch over and do right. Mm -hmm. But every time you make a pitch, if they don't make contact, I'm hitting. Yeah, and that'll make them do stuff. And then once they get three outs off of the actual hitters, We'll rotate, switch groups, like in the scrimmage, right? Yep. Yeah. So keep them moving, keep them going. Yeah. The only thing I want to do on the drill we did before, Mm -hmm. and this one coming up that I do want to make sure I tell you about, is we probably need to have a little bit of a a team power, which we did, but on this one, I think you need to make sure you stress. Like, no, no, I'm going to be throwing it in there hard, and I'm going to be trying to challenge you in places that you don't want to be challenged on. It's going to be in a bat. Yeah. And if you miss three times, you're out. Yeah. And I think we need to really do that because while you can do front toss and it is a nice simulation of a pitch, almost every time they step in there, they're not expecting it to be a challenge. Well, I told them that because Kendall almost, everybody hit it on the first or second pitch. Yeah. Kendall almost struck out on one of hers. Well, yeah, she's loading too much. Yeah. But regardless, I mean, none of them made it far enough in and at bat. Although there were several that I'm like, guys, if it's a ball, like if it's at your eyes, don't swing at it. Well, yeah. It's like in a bat. It's not just hit whatever you think you can hit. Exactly. So. And, and don't be afraid to walk one of them, too, if you can. Oh, true. And, I mean, and don't be afraid to go inside. You're not throwing it that hard. Yeah. You're just close. Mm-hmm. So don't be afraid to also get closer on it, too. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not, like, told you to hit somebody, but, I mean, they, they it's part of the game. Um, I'll, hit a cl- I'll hit a girl. It's well, fine. yeah, there's certain ones I'm sure you would like to. The um, <laughs> Hit Anna because she tries to hit me back. <laughs> Payback. Yeah. yeah. Although hers is a lot harder. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. Yes. Yes. But anyway, no, I think those are great drills. I just, that was the one thing I, I, I knew I would have trouble with when we did it the first time. Mm-hmm. But I was like, I can catch you the next time being like, make sure you challenge them because they need that. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why we wanted to do that was to challenge them a little bit because we're about to get into some bitching that's going to challenge them. Yes. Whole new level. Yes. The ball's starting to move. Yeah. Yeah. And the differences between maturity and development level is starting to come out. Yes. Okay. Although I've been happy with how they've kind of progressed and like the different skills they've picked up that has been more advanced. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited to see how it goes. 
Okay. Let's see here. Do we want to go into our fun with links we had this week or not? I guess so. You want me to preface it first? That's fine. Okay, so you went through all this work, got everything set up with all these different nice codes and websites and all these, oh, when they click on this, we're going to know it came from here and did this and it was part of this campaign and this person and all that great stuff. It was awesome. But when we were setting the thing up, we couldn't find a way to get it out of your name and in Kinetic's name. And I, and both of us, I was just like, go. You know, I mean, we'll figure it out later. No problem. Just we got to get stuff out. Well, it never gave me an option. Yeah. When I set up the when I set up the course for the coaching stuff, it just was like you put your program in. It didn't tell you, hey, go to your settings because it's going to be under your name, not the business name that you put in on it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we were, this whole time we were working on it, working on it, working on it, and then you sent it out. I'm like, whoa, that's got your full name on there. Are you sure you want to be sending that out to the world? <laughs> and um, and so, and you know, we were kind of messing with the same side. We're trying to get it out like crazy. So finally, you know, what was it, two weeks later? Mm -hmm. You were able to get in there and find the setting to be able to change it over to Kinetics. Yeah. Awesome, great. Problem solved, right? No. Well, unfortunately, the links and all the stuff you set up for were going to the website with your name on it. Yeah. So, I mean, the positive is I didn't have to completely redo the whole course yeah. from scratch because that would have been a major pain in the butt. But, yeah, no, I mean, the login for people who bought the course and then the purchase page link were different because the domain thing was different because it wasn't my name. Yeah. So it didn't work anymore. So all my pretty flyers and everything, the codes still work. Yeah. Um, so that's fine. The problem with the codes was that I said on my flyer, I got to resend out all the flyers, but then I've got different codes for different places. So then I've got to do them either all individually or all together. And so. <sighs> yeah. So frustrating. Yeah. Super frustrating. But I mean, at the same time, I, I think I sent you on the text message. I'm like, we just got to own and go. Yeah. I mean, we, all we were Luckily trying to do was get out. your dad said back that he couldn't get in. Because if he hadn't done that, I mean, I knew that the login page was different. Yeah. And so I was able to send that out so people would purchase like, hey, by the way, I had to change a few things. I apologize. Here's the new link. Not a big deal. But when he's like, I can't get on the sales page. The website didn't work. Yeah. The website doesn't work at all. I'm like, crap. Yeah. Because then everything's messed up because it's all these people I don't have contacts for. Yeah. <laughs> that has gone out to. Yeah. The only one I... The, the biggest and so for me i think one of the biggest things was i said let's own it move forward do whatever we can I mean, we all we were trying to do was get stuff out mm -hmm. um but i do come back and i'm like okay certain things can i learn from that i'm like well we control a little bit more of our web pages and not their link so would we have been better off to send it to the first kinetics one yeah and that way you know we have a little bit more control like so i mean i'm sitting there thinking I'm yeah, like because i could have could updated we get, just on our page versus having to send it out everywhere yeah i mean could could we maybe contact Kajabi and be like, hey, can you leave this link active and forward it on? Not going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, and which would be great. But if we had done it in Kinetics and we decided to change that web page, well, we have the control to be able to say, okay, we're going to leave it active. And as soon as it goes there, it goes to the page we want it to go to, which would have worked. Yeah. So, I mean, it's one of those things where you just got to watch out where you're setting up your controls. And we weren't thinking that way. And, yeah, I mean... I mean, it sucks. I'm, I feel bad for anybody that's watching that couldn't get into it. Go to the Kinetic web page. Go to the sports programs. You can get what you need to get. Yeah. Yeah, but it's one of those, like, I mean, there's so many of that stuff, like, even the purchasing and stuff like that, there's areas of it that's, like, I can only test it so far through that it's one of those. I'm not going to know. Like, it wasn't until someone purchased one of, uh, you went through the purchase all the way through for me, and it was like, oh, your name's on the email that says thanks for buying this and like it shouldn't be yeah it should say kinetics and that's where we learned that we even had to change it in the first place because yeah you don't know till you get there well i knew the link said it when i went to go do it but i was kind of like okay but then when it like said the email and it was like yeah the yeah. link's one thing yeah yeah it's like yeah. good times mm, that was tough yeah. <laughs> it happens i was so mad I even told you, I'm like, I know I'm being dramatically mad, but I'm just <laughs> mad today. Like, I just, everything, you're like, well, you could do this or this. I'm like, I know, but it's just a pain and it's just all ruined and I'm <laughs> done with this right now. And I'm like, I know I'm being dramatic. Just give me 10 minutes to be pissed for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I just. And send, I'll come back. And I'll just send you like an Oscar emoji award thing. Just, you could probably send me back like the middle finger emoji or something. 
Do I have that? I just, well, which one? <laughs> the emoji. Middle the, finger. I think you know they have the middle finger one, yeah. Oh, I apparently my emoji game is not up to par. Better get on that. I know. You don't even use them. No. And you know that. Yes. How? Well, people send them to me all the oh. time. Oh, okay. I mean... That makes sense. All Yes. <laughs> all the time. That tracks. Yes. I've seen that one before. I've never seen the Oscar um, award emoji, but I'm sure it's out there. <laughs> There's got to be a trophy. Yes. Of course. Yeah. Most humblest. <laughs> Is that even a word? <laughs> I don't care. I'm going with it. I'm making up new words. Them together. The humblest. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm doing. All right. What else we got? So we got sports. We, um, holy cow, we sold a ton of meat today. Oh, sold a ton of meat today at the market. It was beautiful. It was so nice out. It really was. Yeah, I didn't people. notice it as I was continuing to ring people up with meat. I know. We were doing work. Yeah. We were getting rid of stuff. Yeah. That one hour there was just nuts. It was just, I had a line. Yeah. What, but, is, what sucks is I help you set up and then I got to go right before it gets busy. It's like, <laughs> bye, see you later. <laughs> hey, look, all the people are showing up. Have a good one. <laughs> Hope you make it. Enjoy that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's a good time. No, uh, lots of repeat customers, lots of people coming back. They just are like, she. it's funny because they get it for the taste, but I mean, the help benefits are so big. I mean, it's just mm-hmm. it's just wild. Yeah, Michelle's great. All the stuff they do at Holy Cow is awesome. But we sold a lot of hot sauce too. <laughs> I know, yeah. Again, two weeks in a row. Yeah, Des- Destiny's gonna be happy with us. Uh, yeah, Heat sure. Mavericks, hot Heat sauce. Ma- Apparently, I only tried the anti gravity and it was good. Yeah, and then I tried the jalapeno, but my favorite is the jalapeno. Mm-hmm. It's how I roll. I like the jalapeno spice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, are you updating meals and are we getting more meal preps out there? No. No, okay, cool. I'm making a recipe book freebie with some of the meals that we have that people can like download all eight or ten I can't remember how many put on their recipes at once mm. so you can have a little book nice I know we have more though when we when we switch over to our new program we will yeah it looks like so. a lot easier on that one it does it does very yeah. much so well shoot I'm, you got something else or I mean we we kind of hit on earlier. We were talking about had a good conversation about stress and anxiety. And oh Lord! <laughs> everything going on because we have a lot on our plate at the yeah, moment. Yeah, I know. But I hit the show and I got really anxious about something, so I just didn't do it. You just want to shut down? I just <clears throat> no. Where do you want to go on that one? You want me to go? Or you go? You can go. I mean, we just <clears throat> you had an interesting take on it earlier in the week because I obviously was very stressed <laughs> <laughs> you were having a not fun couple days yeah well i mean it was one of those things where it was like things are busy things are expected to be busy and then you throw in a few personal things that were out of the norm <clears throat> and kind of hit the feelings more and i'm not a feelings person anyway what I kinda, are feelings i kind of like to shove those things down and pretend they don't exist mm. not very good i've heard of those before i know i know like that time when you're like, hey, you can communicate those. I'm like, communicate what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I think it's just, it, it's one of those, you're fine. You know, there's a, you can, you're aware of the stress level, but you're fine. And then a few things get out of whack. And then it's just like, everything spirals. Well, it's amazing how quickly it can happen. <clears throat> I mean, because we're under so much stress because of all the things that we put on ourselves. And so you're, and, and, and life is stressful. I mean, Bills are tough. You don't make enough money. Expenses are going up, you know, all over the place. You're whatever happens. Your car breaks down. You're this. I mean, it, it's you have it, relationship it, drama because it's, it's hard for people to always be yeah. good. You yeah, know, it's constant. And then and then you get a little bit into stuff that we don't usually talk about in the general public. But I mean, you get into some of the things that some of the expectations that you put on that other people have. I mean, some of that comes from your boss scenario, your friend scenario, you know, significant other, whatever. Um, but you just get those, I mean, it's those little comments that just can almost send you over the edge on that one, you know, mm-hmm. like, so your boss is like, you know, well, how did you let that get, how'd you let that happen? And you're like, I'm here working every day. I'm trying to make sure that doesn't happen. But I mean, it's how you feel it. The boss may be sitting there kind of going more like, no, we need to make sure whatever we did doesn't happen again and trying to spin it positive, but it doesn't matter. Your feelings on it automatically puts you in a little bit of a defensive mode. Yeah. I, I had a little bit of that. It happens. Um, you also get like a friend or whatever that may say they're, you know, maybe they're having tough whatever or something like that. And they just kind of make a comment of like, you know, why didn't you tell me about that? 
or you know you could have warned me you know and you just automatically it's weird because in a way they're kind of giving you a lot of benefit for being one that's looking out for you but you don't take it that way you end up taking it almost like i'm doing my best over here you know i'm trying my best to be a good friend Mm -hmm. and so if you get enough of those stacked up you can almost just just explode almost because it's yeah. just like you're just like fine if nobody if i don't do anything right then what's the point of me even being around i mean it's just, it just happens mm-hmm. happens to almost everybody in every situation yep yep so and you don't even realize it's from all the build up of the other stress because it feels like just the final trigger yeah we're true to at the end and you're like ah yeah so i did i sent you a thing that was like okay can you please do this for me and it was hilarious i would love to go reread the the text messages because you could tell on there you're like fine um <laughs> so i just i asked you to go and i picked a spot in time that i thought you could be able to very much remember your mentality your situation all that kind of stuff i think mm-hmm. we picked your birthday which most people remember what they did on their birthday but it was a couple of years ago so it's an easy one to forget and just try to go into what were your what was your what was important to you in that life what was the main goals you were looking for how was your horizon looking what was your mindset going into that kind of stuff well even how are your relationships with like your friends and your family and your kid and all of that yeah just just try to put try to immerse yourself in how you were at that point in time and you did and you're like and it's hilarious you're like all right done because i told you let me know when you're done (laughs) and (laughs) you are not in a good mode we good mood right then (laughs) And anyway, real short, real yeah, short. yeah, it was real short. <laughs> they go, okay, now I want you to do that. N- I want you to go off of where you're at now. No, you said where I'm going to be at my next birthday. Was it? Was mm-hmm. it next birthday? Okay, fine. So looking out mm-hmm. ahead of time. And so I thought I had to do the present. No, you said your next birthday. Did I do next birthday? Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe try to get you a little bit more into that. Yeah, but either way. Not, not in the mood that I was that day. Because yeah, that's, that's probably why I didn't pick it. Yeah. Um, but I, but I, the big thing is, is, I mean, when you look back and you really put yourself in that mentality, you, we, we constantly are always looking at all the things that we don't have, mm-hmm. the things we're working on, the things we're trying to get better. It's that constant, almost beat down of ourselves of we're just not good enough. We just have to do one more. We just need more money. We just need whatever it is. I you constantly eh, eh, just need a little bit more. It's almost like that, that whole carrot thing that you never let somebody get that carrot. But when you look back over the course of all the things you did and how far that you've gone, it can really put in perspective that you can take on whatever you got coming. Mm-hmm. And it was it was interesting. I mean, I, I, I think I definitely saw a change in you. Um, well, what's day. interesting, too, is like it was it was one of those like you do this thing and I'm like, OK, fine. And I'm like, yeah, I, I see the difference. Like, I know there's a difference. I mean, it, nine day mm-hmm. from two years ago. And I was like great yeah it's on here but it's been a really crappy weekend it feels like it's all falling apart so woohoo I made all this progress but it just feels like it's just all gonna blah Mm -hmm. just fall out from underneath me so I'm like that's awesome fine whatever and so in the moment it was like this is not does not feel like it's a good reminder but it didn't feel helpful Mm -hmm. it didn't feel like it was gonna do anything for me then later that afternoon I felt better (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to say that. <laughs> it's, fine. it's fine. I mean, I get it. I really do because I've had to do it myself. I mean, you just, you, you constantly are just beating yourself down that you can't get that, all the things that you want to do. Well, and and was, we forget about all the things that we have accomplished. Well, it was one of those that was like a panic mode of like, everything's falling apart. Nothing's good enough. Like, everything's a struggle. I feel like I'm waiting through Jello. And then I got to the afternoon, you know what? It's like, you know what? The people who have been bothering me. Screw them. Like, <laughs> I'm a good per- I like the person that I've become. I like where I'm at. If they don't want to have, like, if if they don't want to, like, honor that and work with me and help me move forward, then who needs them? <laughs> like, that would make me really sad. It makes me feel horrible. But at the same time, like, I'm not going to change who I am for that. So mm-hmm. whatever. Like, we're just going to move forward, and it's going to be hard to keep going sometimes. But... It is what it is. Well, I'm not going to sit here and change myself for somebody and try to, like, beg them to, like, you know, want to be with you or want to, like, be your friend or want to be, like, a, a good contact for work or whatever. Mm, not yeah. going to happen. Yeah. No, I I think you've seen me do that on plenty of people where I'm just like, you know, they're trying to get under my skin. They're trying to get me worked up. They're trying to get me angry about something. And I'm just sitting back going, like, I'm not... 
no, I'm not going to change who I am because you want me to, you want to get a reaction out of me. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to break my integrity because of the fact that you want to be able to, in a way, expose that I have like an emotional connection to this. My whole thing is to help everybody around me get better. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I'm aware that I cannot force people to do that. Yeah. And with that too, I mean, there was a sense of like, yes, I'm proud of where I've come, but at the same time, yes, I'm not going to change myself from people, but I fully intend to work to be the best version of myself to deserve the friends and family and people in my life. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I'm not willing to change at all. Yeah. So I'm, I I can want to continue to work to get better because you always can. Well, yeah. So I it mean, wasn't a like this is what it is. You're either gonna like me or you're not gonna like me. It's very much like there's only so much I can do. I'm not gonna change myself in a negative way just to keep people around. Exactly. Yeah. And the other one that always cracks me more anything is you, you stop me when you've heard this from a billion people, but like. Well, they changed and I was still the same. And it's mm -hmm. like, no, no, everybody is always changing. Yeah. I mean, we're all constantly, our perspectives, our experiences, our knowledge. I mean, all of that stuff is in constant flux all the time. Everybody is changing. Mm -hmm. And I mean, if you really, really question that, pull yourself out from five years, really something that you remember, something that happened, and just try to remember the things that were so important to you then may be completely irrelevant. Or you may have opposite opinions at this point in time. And so it's just so hard to, we really try to latch into that whole thing of like, well, you remember like four years ago, you said this mm -hmm. and it's like, yeah, you know, I, I'm and, and then the worst part about it is you feel like you're like lying or breaking an oath or something like that. Cause in your mind, you haven't really changed. Yeah. And so it's one of those things where you kind of almost got to accept that people's perspectives really change. And it's funny as I say that, I'm sure you've almost seen it for me over the course of these years where even stuff that we had talked about even six months ago where I'm just like hey what do you think about this and you can almost talk to me and be like didn't we talk about this and I'm like yeah but things have changed mm -hmm. I mean it, it's your perspective changes yeah I don't even think about that with stuff like you do or create or good at I mean we're constantly changing how we coach and run teams and the drills that we do and some stuff we did like and don't like anymore or tweak how we do things or I mean you do it with everything in life that's mm -hmm. the easy example that I have coming to my mind but yeah do it with everything mm -hmm. constant change mm -hmm. yeah that was a tough one that's a good yeah. thing you brought I, I, it's a you tough thing I was gonna do it most people I'm <laughs> not gonna pull you into it I mean I mean you, there's plenty of people like you get mad at me because you don't typically see me do that very often do what like let something like that kind of overwhelm me because oh. I'm 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 really kind of more of like okay well if that ain't gonna work I'm gonna go over here I mean yeah. uh, it's just kind of how you I'm pivot very well well <laughs> I, I'm it's kind of one of those things where I'm kind of like all right that ain't gonna work I'm going over here then I mean and it sounds really bad but it's just like how long am I gonna stick on this thing if it's not working mm -hmm. um, and I just I try to always do the whole thing where I'm like eh, it may work later and just I mean the friends contacts, you know, whatever. I'm just like, I'm do my best to try to be like, I'm never going to talk to that person again. No, no, no I still ha I have some, <laughs> believe me. Um, but that's usually kind of the repetitiveness mm -hmm. where it's like, yeah, we're not going to do that again. But the, um, but for most people, I'm kind of like, you never know, something could change. They could have had, they could be the worst. They could have literally got a notification that morning was one of the worst notifications they had. So, I mean, if you'd have known that, would you have reacted, you know, bad to them? Mm -hmm. And so you just kind of just realize somebody somewhere is always fighting a battle or something in their head. And they may not mean exactly what the way you said, that they said it to you, that you interpreted what they were saying to you. Mm -hmm. So, yep. Man, this was super light today. <laughs> no heavy conversations coming yeah. off of Adam's podcast. What a shocker. Nobody cried. We're just we're in fine. anxiety. Well, you cut out the part where I did. I get <laughs> but I'll put it back in. Yeah, I'll there you go. Put it in. Uh, awesome. <laughs> All right, great. All right, so well, thanks a lot for listening. Um, have a good one. We'll see you the next time. Yep. Thank you for watching Kate in Nevada. Hope you've enjoyed this show and found it useful and empowering. If you have any questions or comments, please contact them at kinetics.com. That's K-N-E-T-I-C-X.com. 
They're on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok as well. And please write a review of the show. Kate and Nevada appreciate hearing the feedback, and they welcome your reviews and your word of mouth will help others learn how to feel better and be better. If we make it to a thousand, we'll still be talking about the clock before. Yep. We'll be like, <laughs> you want to go out? No. The funny thing is, it's normally like we go all this and then it's like a weird transition in between. So I never include this in the podcast part, but I should totally... One of these days you will. Just to leave it in there. Just, like, to, yeah. just to mess with me. We just talk about this all the time before. You probably had to wait until one of these times. I'm like, I am the clappiest clapper. <laughs> I, wonder, I, wonder, I wonder if they make... Get you a shirt. I wonder if they make penicillin for that. I think that's the wrong clap. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> no shit. And then you could, you could... You said a shirt, but you could give me a... Like more of like a like a mantle thing or something or whatever or so you can put it right next to my you know so you gave him two trophies yeah my most my most the christmas clap in the most modest yes most humble most humble yeah welcome to the f3 b show there you go <laughs>